Hello, and welcome to the Listening Post's unboxing channel on YouTube. Today I'm unboxing something really quite exciting. There's a lot of high-end stuff out there and I love it all, but it's at the entry level of our industry that actually I get a lot more excited about. Because often these things have to be so much better thought out to be able to even squeeze a little segment out of the industry. And this is an example of one of those products, the new Ensel Brains. Now the name aside, this is a stunning 40 watt integrated amplifier that has monster features. Everything you could possibly need in a basic integrated amp. More than suitable to drive big bookshelf speakers or modest sized floor standing speakers. It's got Bluetooth and digital and all those things that we will see. It's got it's got some fun to it. It's available in white and black and the volume knob's not white if you order a white one. It's a black volume knob. Funky little things. This is an exciting product. It's designed to sound amazing. That's primary. Designed to sound amazing. But after that it's also answered a lot of the things associated with hi-fi where it's often very boring or it doesn't have the right appeal from a feature set perspective. So it's wonderful that we can share such an awesome, well thought out product with you today. So firstly, the packaging. Now, it's not often that packaging looks kind of cool. In fact, it's not often that there's a sticker on the side um, actually talking about who did the artwork. I'm going to find that. Here it is. Um, this amplifier isn't designed to be just a standard amp. It's designed to have a little bit more appeal on so many levels. So, nevertheless, the packaging, very funky. Uh, look, it's got a courier label on the top, and because this was air freighted to us, it's got an air freight label on the side. It's an Ensel, uh, the Brains amplifier, and a bit of information there. Scannable information associated with uh, serial number. Along with the fact that this particular one's in white. Now, as always, hang around for some photographs. What I'm going to do is bring one of the black ones out of the box as well, so you can see that too. Uh, other than that, it's just funky and cool. Opening it's really easy. Um, it's a simple enough process to nick the, uh, the packing tape. And drilling into it's really, really straightforward. Now the first thing you'll see there is actually an additional scannable serial number. Now that allows you to sort of store that off to one side and should something really unfortunate happen like you get burgled, you've got the serial number on record somewhere very easily. What we see here is some basic accessories. In fact there's a protective sort of foam thing there to protect the back of the amplifier and then a traditional um, IEC power cord. This is a 2-pin. Lifting the amplifier out is relatively straightforward. Put the box. And just grab the closed cell foam. I mean, it's brilliantly cut as far as supporting the amplifier in transit. And all the protection required to ensure that it comes to you in one piece. Now the amplifier is uh, packed inside an oversized plastic bag. Getting that off is always very easy. It's not sealed closed with filler tape. I guess it's unnecessary that it is. So firstly, let's have a look at its basic style. Again, it's just, they've decided to be a little bit more bold with its design. This again is in white as you can see. The power on off switch is a physical switch and it's in this sort of uh, yellowy orange colour and the volume knobs and other control functions are in the reverse of the colours, the colour options that are available. So looking at the front we see the Ensil brand and then a power switch. Now the power switch has an illuminated LED above it and then beside that a 3.5mm headphone socket. There's an IR sensor. Uh, this has a multifunction remote control. It's a it's an accessory, but you, know, you, you buy one of these, we'll give you one. There's a balance control. Again, this is an analog 
uh, balance, and there's bass and treble. The volume control is a traditional uh, volume. Um, it's not a rotary encoder, it has a start and a stop point. And then it has push buttons associated with the input selection. Each has an LED above it to let you know what input you've selected. There's a moving magnet phono preamp. There's a CD input, a tuner input and an auxiliary, although any of those analog inputs could be used for whatever you might require. There's Bluetooth and that's where some of the features come in. This amplifier has excellent features for its price and in fact realistically from a sound and build quality perspective this is second to none for its price. It has a, a single coax and a single optical digital input as well allowing you to have the audio return out of a television or any number of external devices easily catered for in this product. Tilting it forward you'll see that it has excellent ventilation but as you lift it up and this is what this video will never really help portray is how brilliantly well built it is. It has an excellent, in fact massive, toroidal power supply feeding the 40 watt amplifiers. Now most of the time in our industry we talk about hi-fi watts. Well it's really about a combination of current and wattage. Wattage just kind of defines how loud something might go but doesn't really define how good it can sound or how much control it has and that comes with how clean the power can be to it. And when you've got a decent power supply and a heavy amplifier it kind of implies you're in for a good thing and that's exactly the case here. Looking at it you'll see a relatively small form factor, it's going to sit very easily in a number of different applications. Spinning it round I guess that's where we see so many of these features uh, laid out. Firstly, the boring side, we've got a traditional IEC power socket. Above it, we've got voltage information associated with it, along with what wattage it consumes and things like that. We've got a single uh, speaker outlet, as I guess most people with this type of amplifier are not going to have an A and B speaker requirement. Beside that, we've got a couple of triggers. There's two trigger outlets to allow it to cascade down and start controlling or turning on other devices. There is a, a 3.5mm input for service purposes and then uh, the ability to change between some of the um, power on and standby configurations. Uh, this can be turned on with signal sense or no control at all. Now over here we've got the digital side of things and obviously the unit has an excellent digital to analog converter to support the single optical and single coax but also the excellent Bluetooth. It's APTX, so it's CD quality, and honestly, it sounds brilliant. Then we've got the auxiliary input, the tuner input and CD input that I alluded to at the front. And then again, the phono input and an excellent ground. The amplifier itself has a lovely build quality. There's, there's nothing... You know, there's nothing rattling, there's nothing moving or clicking or folding, it's, it's been built brilliantly. In its price there is nothing that will touch this from a sonic capability and from a feature set. So it's with great pride that I've unboxed today and shared with you the brand new Insel Brains Integrated Amplifier here at the Listening Post in Christchurch, New Zealand. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel.